heart disease has declined in recent years for both men and women. Um, and that's exciting because it shows that we're doing well or better than we used to in terms of primary prevention. But if you look, it's still the number one cause of mortality and morbidity for women. And it is a higher level of, uh, or more women die from heart disease than from um, the top 10 to 14 cancers combined. So the results of this study were interesting. Um, unlike prior studies that have suggested that women and perhaps younger women have higher mortality rates in the setting of heart attacks, uh, when we looked at this particular type of heart attack called an ST elevation MI, women who were suffering heart attacks had similar mortality rates. So when we adjusted for factors like age and um, comorbidities like hypertension, women had similar mortality rates at the time of their heart attacks. What we also found was they were more likely to have uh, bleeding episodes in the hospital that required transfusion and that they were more likely to have vascular complications. So the take home message to me is that women are um, doing well in terms of mortality rates and not having higher rates of mortality in the hospital after a heart attack, but they still appear to have higher rates of vascular complications and transfusions or bleeding. And so we need to investigate why women are at risk for those adverse events.